<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Right. afternoon I believe or most people um, can I say happy Friday anyway something a little bit different for the channel here I've taken up Scott and Wonders World uh, 10 pound Morrison's beer challenge I know I'm a bit late in the day on this but I was away um, in Hamburg last week but I missed the Tesco's one so I was gutted everyone doing all their things but um, it's a bit difficult to get there from here anyway Let's show you what we got for our £10. I think we've done really well. A bit of adding up and getting confused and so on. Right, the first one. Of course, £2.25 is Keo. Had it before from Cyprus. Never been to Cyprus, but I have had this a long time ago. Proudly brewed in the on the island of Cyprus. Finest quality beer since 1951. Wow, same year my dad was born. Coming in at 4.5% ABV. And that's a 630ml bottle. So, yeah, that's got some go in it. Right, next one. I'm going to say that's £2.25. £2.20 from Cornwall Harbour. We've reviewed one of these before, but I don't know if we've done the Cornish Hellies Lager. 660ml again, as I say, 4.3%. Brewed in North Cornwall. Yep. Aromas, herbal, lemon, hops, fresh grains, palate light, fresh and crisp. Finish elegant, brisk and dry. So yeah, that's your second one. So yeah, you've got two big 660 mils here. Then we've got Guinness West Indies Porter Brewers Sauce 1801 St. James Gate Dublin or 1759. So that's something a little bit different. Out of the comfort zone for both me and Michelle, this um, 500ml bottle, cost of £2, I'm sure I said, yep, yeah. and 6% ABV, so, Jesus, eh, that's got some go. Just remember this beer, because if, just remember this one. So that's the third one. Um, the fourth one, Timmy Taylor's Landlord, the classic pale out, again £2, 4.1%. ABV, I know these because Josh, Simo Sup's reviewer, has reviewed them before and absolutely loves them. Drinker's favourite, the classic pale ale with a complex citrus and hoppy aroma. Landor was launched in 1952, year after my dad was born. So there you go. Right, and these four were also obtained on the four for free. So we've got the cheapest one, free, being, forget about him, he was free. So we just paid for them. So then, that took us so far, so we're still trying to balance up to the £10. So then we picked up Lancashire Bomber, class best of British, full body down brow, coming in at 4.4% ABV in a 500ml bottle. So yeah, so again, the one thing with all these, none of them we've reviewed as well. We kept away from anything we've done before, so we made it a little bit harder for ourselves. We are in there about... 40 minutes and trying to add it up and getting confused didn't help. Next one, uh, Whitewood Brewery, Dry Neck, 4% Golden Beer, again 500 mils and again one pound. So, yeah, it's like spot the bargains here. So, I say there you four, buy four, one free. And just to round it off, Banks's Golden Beer, 3.8 ABV. Another British one, produced by Carlsberg over here, in Wolverhampton. Um, yeah, looked quite interesting enough. And I thought, well, that's not a bad little haul, is it? Well, I don't know, someone may have got better. Not from what I've seen, or not 
as I say, I, I, I made it, we, me, Michelle, Michelle did help with choosing them, made it more interesting in the point that we said we'd do, only do things that we hadn't done on the channel. So my Paul Anna that I picked up for two pounds kind of went back and so on. But as I say, total would have been £11.45, but as you can see on the receipt with the two pounds off, it come out at £9.45. So I think that is seven pretty good beers for £9.45. Um, thank you, Scott, for putting up the challenge. Um, do follow them if you're not following. Scott and Wonders World, lovely couple. It was, is one all this. So um, what can I say? Uh, like, consider to subscribe if you haven't, and comment. Bonjour. I will get reviewing these, but they're in a queue, and Jesus, there's a lot to do. Right, have a good weekend. Take care. Bonjour.